Hey, good morning. I didn't know it was recording. Uh, so I slept there last night in a Crooked Spur hut. Uh, I actually really, really enjoyed it. I ended up uh, sharing the hut with one other guy named Arwen uh, from uh, Dutch, who's Dutch, uh, uh, from the Netherlands. Anyways, uh, I'm going to start off on my trek. There's my pack, I'm ready to go. That's the view that I woke up to this morning. Well, actually, it was really gorgeous because I could see like uh, these clouds early this morning were uh, uh, rose color. It was quite lovely. And uh, last night I got up, uh, well, to use the bathroom, and uh, the clouds had broken a little bit, and I was able to see a bit of the Milky Way arm. It was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, hopefully, I get an absolute clear night soon, and I will be able to enjoy the night sky like I want to. That's all. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later, and uh, have a good day. Bye. Hey, good morning. Uh, so, <clears throat> my tent survived the night, which is really good, so the additional lashings worked. Uh, I woke up to a very beautiful, uh, fiery red clouds over here, which is cool. Uh, only downside, uh, mice got into my, not my food, which is good. They got into my garbage. I didn't put this inside my tent, so they got into my garbage bag which is lovely well at least they didn't get into my snacks I left my snacks in my backpack and they didn't get into any of those which is good uh, and they didn't get into any of my food the additional lashings that I put uh, you can see them better now basically what I did is uh, this tent has uh, basically one main uh, bar that goes across and then an additional bar uh, this uh, part of the frame doesn't go anywhere it's for the opening so what I did is I uh, put additional lashings here down to ground and here down to ground and from the uh, near the basically the highest point of the tent down to ground as well and that seemed to hold it. I gotta clean out the inside of my tent. Still gotta finish breakfast and I still bo boiled over my oatmeal. I gotta get better at that. Almost got it but it was, it was a little too late. Uh, anyways, the view here is absolutely gorgeous. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning. Uh, well, I made, I'm not sure the name of this, ca oh, uh, Camp Stream Hut. Apparently originally made in 1898. We've probably done it a few times since then. Uh, I actually have a little fire going, which is nice. It is a little cool this morning. Uh, there's the outhouse. View is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, today is uh, April the 3rd, I believe. Uh, letting people know where I'm at. I'm actually, I cooked last night. Let's see how well you can see this. So, uh, well, they got an old school stove here. So basically, 
Uh, I am cooking some oatmeal on a wood burning stove. It hasn't got the water boiling yet. Let me uh, move it over to here where it's a little warmer. So, cooking with Scott. Yeah, okay, so I'll uh, talk to you guys later, but this is where I spent the night and this is the view I woke up to. Uh, so, Uh, good morning. Uh, so I slept actually really, really, really well. Uh, it is a little cold this morning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, also, another thing that might be wise uh, in order to keep my sleeping bag cleaner, you get a sleeping bag lighter. Oh, sorry. I should probably re record that. It's like 20 minutes, 20 seconds of yawning. Anyways, it's a beautiful view. I'm gonna go find the toilet and get it going. Uh, good morning, Addendum. Uh, I think today is April the 7th. I don't know what day of the week it is. I'll uh, give you guys a quick pano when I get out there. I'm actually in the middle of getting dressed. So this is where I slept last night. Well, I put my head over there. I used my jacket as a pillow. It was actually quite comfortable. I, uh, Slept a lot better than I did last night with all the drunken roommates. Uh, I mean, like, way, 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 way better. Uh, and just listening to that creak all night was just wonderful. Yeah, made me fall asleep pretty quick. I think I ended up going around in bed seven or eight last night. So I got a lot of sleep. I'm feeling energetic, just a bit hungry, but I'm gonna change and then start making some food. So. Uh, I'll give you guys one more update because uh, the view out there is absolutely beautiful. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. Good morning. Uh, so this is what I woke up to, which is really, really quite spectacular. Clouds moved in last night, uh, but it's not too bad. The uh, weather's a lot warmer than it was yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is the hut I stayed in, which is really, really, really quite nice. I made it to actually the second hut. I met this, uh, this guy named Scott and a girl named Ricky and uh, they're doing the toll trail. And uh, they were sweet enough to encourage me to keep going. And I had a lot of fun. So I made it to Highland Creek Hut. Um, actually, we, we had dance lessons last night. Uh, anyways, I'm being a little quiet because Scott is still asleep. I'm gonna sweep inside real quick, make sure I haven't forgotten anything.
so it looks like I didn't forget anything. Um, I'm gonna do one more check-in, a little bit of stretches, and get going to Rose's hut. So this is, uh, I'll see you guys later. Wait, what's, oh, today's the 8th of April. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's time for 11Zs. I'm on the, uh, this is the third video on April the 8th, 2017. I'm sitting on a ridge on the Matatapu Trail to Queenstown, which is somewhere that direction. There's uh, some snow-capped peaks over here. Uh, behind me is a very lovely echoing canyon. Uh, I was singing in it earlier. Somewhere on that ridge is Scott, and somewhere down there is uh, Ricky. And today I will explain how Elevensies works with me. So I take a Tahoe bar, open it up, put the garbage in my garbage bag for later, stuff it underneath my pack so it doesn't go blowing in the wind. We take a spoon. And we take a jar of peanut butter. So about every spoonful of this is 100 calories. This guy right here is about 230, 250, something like that. Uh, so this is a really good way to make up for calories. What you do is you take a big old scoop and you put it on. Now you think I'd be done with just one big old scoop like this. No, we want we want it. Oops, got yeah, a little bit of wool in there. Uh, we want it about a quarter inch thick along the length of the whole bar. So we're gonna need a couple of scoops. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Um, so, anyways, you dig in. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. So this will go out. Mmm. Big, big old. And this is how trail bars should be made. This is like almost 500 calories. Mm. And then anyway, that's the uh, enough staring at me eat. Mm. I'll give you guys an update later. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Ah, good morning guys. Uh, so last night I made it to uh, Rose's hut. Uh, it has a pretty lovely view. Uh, Arrow Town is about 22 kilometers that way. Probably won't make that, but I'll try to make the next hut. Uh, accommodations were quite nice again. Double bumps. Very clean. Didn't have to worry about my system. Also. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna get going. Uh, oh, uh, let me show you a closer look at the water facility. I didn't show you guys that at the last but This is actually pretty cool. So they have all the water from the roof run off and collected to this guy. It holds like 1800 liters of water and then you can get fresh water right here from this tap. And uh, usually don't have to filter it, so which is actually really, really cool. Oh. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night or good morning.
Good morning, it is April the 13th. Uh, John and I made it uh, to Mavoro Lake. There's John. Hello, morning. Uh, that's Casey Hutt, I'm ignoring John. I noticed. Yeah, yeah, even though I pointed the camera right at John. So, John got really antsy and went to the jump into the lake. It's crazy. Anyways. It's refreshing. Uh, the trail's the other way, bro. <laughs> Hello, so I didn't do a morning update because John was a little antsy to go. I won't say names, I mean John. John, over here. Uh, we stayed at, uh, which hut was it? Tapo hut. Tapo hut, we stayed at the Tapo hut last night. It's April. And today, oh, today is the 14th of August, April, April, 14th of April. We're not in August. <laughs> There'd be snow on the ground if it was August. Um, and we're trying to make it to the same lake Queenstown is sitting on. So right now I'm having my snack and John's looking at me funny. Uh, late good morning to you guys. Uh, so I am uh, recording from the Greenstone Hut. Uh, John and I actually camped down uh, this way a bit near a lake. I'm going blank on the name of it right now. Uh, it was a little off the beaten path. Um, uh, kind of on the way to Queenstown. Uh, there's a real popular loop that goes around this set of mountains here and the root burn starts a bit over there so you get a lot of through hikers through here. Um, the, uh, the greenstone hut is actually quite nice. Uh, I'm feeling too lazy to get up. Uh, it can bed about 20 people and they have a lot of nice amenities. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, running water. Uh, I don't know what else they have. They have flushing toilets, running water, um, and I think that's about... Oh, and then they also have a, um, a place where you can put a fire going, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, and then they have an attendant here, over there. It looks like they have heated water. They probably have showers. Wouldn't surprise me. It looks like they also have electricity from the solar panels. So, um, I actually don't know how much it is to stay here. It's not covered under the, um, the, the dock, uh, back cut pass. Um, I over, um, did it a little yesterday. Uh, my, uh, ankles are feeling much better today. I got them wrapped, um, and, uh, took some naproxen, but, um, uh, it, it really cut into my endurement towards the end of the hike yesterday, which was a little bit of a bummer because I was going through some really gorgeous forest, but luckily John and I were doing a loop today, so I got to re-enjoy those, and it's turning out to be an absolutely gorgeous day. So, we're just stopping here a little bit. He's gone off to the John. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Terrible joke. Ah, yeah, we better get the... on. Oh, soon. Uh, so my boots are tearing here. And here, and yeah, let's see what this one is. So this one's holding up better. Um, I think they'll, I think they'll hold up for the rest of the trip, uh, since I only got about maybe a month or so left. But anyways, this is a gorgeous view, and I'm ignoring John. Good morning. Uh, it is. Oh God, I think the 16th. I think the 16th of April. Um. So we stayed actually at Tipo Hut, which is behind us. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, we get access to. The, but uh, there's a total of eight people here right now. Uh, I slept very comfortably, actually. I got to uh, start packing up here. Uh, we um, packed in some wood uh, about two miles that way, 
and uh, had a really nice fire last night. It was actually really quite lovely because we had a lot of good conversations with some uh, people, a couple of Kiwis and uh, a Canadian. Um, anyways, I kind of wish we had a fire going right now, but I'm going to get some breakfast going. And um, today we're going to head that way back through there. And um, I forget where we're going to stay. There's a hut down there somewhere about um, 12 or so miles. So, But it's a relatively easy walk. It's uh, through open grassland. And uh, a lot of it's on Jeep Trail. So uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Oh, uh, I'm going to show you the... I don't know if you can see the fjord. I'm staying in my tent. It's comfortable. Oh, this is the view. <laughs> Hello, and today's 11s is brought to you by a lovely stream. And we're under a very small tree, getting some shade. It is warm. It is quite, yeah, it is quite warm. So it's nice to get out of the uh, sun for a bit. We uh, don't have trees for the rest of the day. Pretty much, right, bro? Yeah. Yep, yeah. uh, so uh, this little shrub brush, which is, it's not very big, basically this is the whole brush, is uh, cooling us very nicely. And we're next to a lovely brook. This is uh, the lovely sound you're hearing in the background. I'm having my normal 11Zs, uh, granola bar with peanut butter. And John is just staring at me funny, as always. He's creepy. Uh, so last night we uh, had a full house at the hut. We stayed with, uh, well we didn't stay in the hut, we stayed outside the hut. Uh, there were six other people there besides us. Um, four of them were ki kiwis. An unusually high number of kiwis. I actually hadn't run into that many kiwis on trail. But actually that I can recall I hadn't run into any until we got around Queenstown. So. Um, Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my 11Zs in the sounds of this brook. The elusive John creature is observing himself at the lake cleaning up in the morning and looking at the beautiful fog-laden mountains. We're in a hide trying to observe him quietly. Well, he's approaching his abode for the evening very, very slowly. Not trying to trip over any rocks. He hasn't observed that we're observing him yet. This is good. This is the way a uh, nature observer should be done. Oh, I think he's noted us. Uh, oh, he's noticed us. We have to run away now. Anyways, uh, I think today is the... Uh, what did I do? Oh, what day is it? Today is the 17th of of April. Uh, we are about an hour's walk from where we parked the car, somewhere down at the end of this lake. Um, and I don't think we're going to actually leave tonight. We're going to head further down to some really, really, really lovely woods. I've actually already cooked my breakfast. Um, and I'm actually right now enjoying the warmth of my sleeping bag, so I don't really want to leave my tent. Uh, so, but uh, this is where we camped. We stayed with a few other backpackers. Uh, it was actually a really, really fun night. We made a big, big fire. And um, had a lot of good uh, laughs and shares, so... I am going to get dressed slowly here and start packing because John's always really quick at that.
Ah, good evening. It is the 19th of April, and well, actually, it's the afternoon. And I am staying in the Luxmore, not Luxmore hut, which is a huge, huge, huge hut. I have no idea how many people are here. Uh, we have running the water. John and I found a couple of top bunks together, which is actually pretty cool. The view is really, really good. Uh, so this is kind of what you expect on a great walk is uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of people. But the view is fantastic. The walk was absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad we did it. Uh, I am going to repair my shoe. This broke right here. So I have a, a, some really nice glue and some extra th uh, rope. So I'm going to fix that. I'll probably reinforce this guy a little bit over here a little bit. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning guys, it's uh, the 20th of April and uh, there is a spectacular phenomenon going on right here. Uh, I forget the name of the lake, but uh, uh, not Tech up, um, it's not Tianu, but it's uh, Tianu. Tianu is actually located just a little bit on the other side of this mountain over here. I'm in the upper balcony, <coughs> just filming a little bit. There's a lot of people asleep. Uh, it's quite a lovely view. This morning I'm going to have biscuits and gravy and I'm going to go find my brother. Uh, it slept pretty well, uh, despite the fact that we shared a room with about 50 other people. Um, I'm glad I had earplugs, but uh, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Good morning again. Uh, it's still April 20th. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the results of my shoelaces, which actually looks like it came out pretty good. Uh, So, uh, so today's 11sies are brought to you by, well, what mountain are we by? Mount Luxmore? Mount Luxmore. Mount Luxmore. There's these beautiful green birds that the have... The only alpine uh, parrots. Yeah, the only alpine parrot. Uh, by the way, that family was guarding our packs, which was very sweet of them. Um, and now I'm guarding another random couple's pack until they get down. Uh, from these nasty guys over here. They're, they're pretty. Ooh. But they, uh, they will rip apart your pack. So, anyways. So, uh, today for 11sies, I'm having Manuka honey and half of a one square meal, so OSM cranberry bar. Uh, these are actually really, really tasty. Uh, John and I tried the chocolate one on the last trail and that was delicious. Um, basically, it's half a meal in one bar, which is really cool. Um, Oh, let me try it first, see how it is. Mmm, very good. I haven't been disappointed in any of the bars I've tried. We have a few people catching up with us now. Kind of stopped in the middle of the trail. Um, it's a very, 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 very beautiful morning on the Kepler track. Um, one of the big differences between Kepler and a lot of the other places we've traveled, it's really gorgeous. Um, 
but you don't get the same camaraderie that you get on the TA. Uh, I'll have to explain more uh, later time. John's over there. And this, is, this is our view. I'm gonna enjoy my bar. Oh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Ah, good afternoon. So today is uh, April 22nd. Um, as you can see, I don't have a pack on. I'm actually taking most of the day easy. Uh, my brother and I got back from Irisburn Hut uh, this morning, had some Indian food, and uh, we got off the Kepler track. Uh, after three wonderful nights, uh, uh, very wonderful days, we got really lucky with the weather, though today is actually the best day. <laughs> it would have been nice to be up on the ridge, but we had an absolutely wonderful view of uh, Mount um, Irene. Uh, the stars were absolutely beautiful. Uh, my brother and I actually jumped into the lake. I'm forgetting the name of it. Lake Manapuri, I think. It's just behind me, actually, about 5-10 kilometers. Um, uh, tomorrow I'm doing a very touristy thing of going to the Worm Cave.
near Christchurch. Uh, luckily, I don't have my shoes on. I got caught in the uh, incoming waves, which is totally cool because I'm barefoot. Uh, it's actually a really pretty day. I'm a little overdressed, but I'll probably get cold tonight. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy walking on the beach for a bit. Uh, tomorrow I will head to St. Arnard, which uh, is pretty chilly. It gets below freezing at night, uh, but I should have a couple of pretty days in there, so I'll see how that goes. So, anyways, here's the beach. Screwgrass Hut, which is at 1,060 meters above sea level. I'm in a, uh, well, they actually built it in uh, looks like a marshland that's right here out of the middle of nowhere. There's a boardwalk that comes up through here, splits off, and actually connects all the buildings, which is really nice. Uh, it's a modern hut, which is really good. Uh, the uh, well, actually, uh, you don't really want to build the huts in the forest here because the uh, uh, the trees tend to give way a bit. Uh, um, got below, well below freezing last night. I actually have some icicles that still remain down here. I don't know if you guys can see those very well. Water supply is good. It's not frozen. It's running very well. I have plenty of wood. I actually chopped up a bunch of that for some some for some reason. Uh, Nobody seemed to, they have a very, very basic axe. It's basically just a metal pipe welded onto an axe head there, which is just kind of crazy. It's just basically that. I mean, it works, it does the job. Um, but basically they had the, uh, inside the cabin, they had basically these huge chunks of wood and it was hard to get a fire going and maintain last night. Um, there's the outhouse. So I chopped up, uh, almost a box load of it today, uh, this morning. Uh, I'm using it to cook my food. Um, well, because my whisper light is broken. Uh, the pump is leaking gasoline, which I found out the hard way. Uh, I have the pump here. Yeah, basically, one of the O-rings, it's either the check valve here or the O-ring that's leaking. It's probably this O-ring. Gasoline came up through here and uh, soaked my gloves. So anyways, I did a bit of laundry as well. Uh, it was raining last night and uh, I'm actually cooking my oatmeal in there right now. I'm gonna check on it in a bit. Uh, so um, San Arnard, which is on the other side of this mountain actually, kind of over here. Uh, I started there around 3 p.m. The bus dropped me off late and it rained the whole way until I got to the trailhead. So luckily, that was a really good trail and a four by four road. But when I got to this trail here, it was actually dark. So that actually made it more difficult to get around. Uh, the trail has, has these little orange triangles that don't reflect at night. So I lost the trail a few times. Luckily the GPS got me on track again and uh, I ended up here nice and safe and sound. And I slept in, as you can tell, it's not super early. Um, I'm gonna make spear grass my, my home for a bit uh, until I can figure out what's wrong with the pump. If I can't, I'll just do day hikes around here and uh, for the next few days and enjoy it. So, because it's a lovely place to be stranded. Well, I'm not really stranded. I got I got a, just a half a day walk out there to get to the town, so that's not too bad. Um, and I got plenty of wood here. Now you can see where I chopped up so I uh, quartered them up a lot more and then uh, then I, I got some starter pieces which they didn't even have which uh, it's hard to get fire going with a bunch of these big guys but luckily they were dry enough so, so not 100 percent sure what was wrong with it I uh, just took the pump apart and kind of inspected everything <laughs> So, uh, I am 
to Sabine Hut, I thought I would share a little bit of the trail with you because it's absolutely just gorgeous. Uh, compared to what I was walking on yesterday, this is heaven. Uh, there were a lot of roots, ups and downs and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet for about 40 seconds and let you enjoy. Good morning guys, uh, so I'm staying in Sabine Hut, which is really nice. I think it's set up for about 20 people. Uh, it was just me and a couple last night, which was really nice. I got a fire going. Um, I actually took a bath in the lake last night, uh, which was very lovely. Uh, so, so a, um, oops, sorry, you don't want to see me picking stuff out of my eyes. Um, I saw a bunch of eels, which is really, really cool. And um, I saw a live possum for the first time. Uh, a, well, uh, I guess technically it's a Australian possum. I mean, I've seen possums all the time in Texas, but they're completely different. And I saw the strange freshwater eels that they have here. They were attracted to my light, so they kind of swarmed around it, which was actually kind of cool. And the night sky was absolutely gorgeous. So I actually slept down here near the fireplace, which is really, really quite lovely. Um, anyways, I'm gonna aim for West Sabine Hut and maybe for Blue Lake Hut, depending on how I feel. It's still a bit early, um, I'm having oatmeal. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.
how he showed it to me. And uh, he uh, proceeded to put him down on the ground and start kicking him. And he has a couple chaplains in his back. And
Good evening, guys. Uh, today is May 6th, I think. Uh, my last several videos have been silent, and the reason they've been silent is I'm uh, leaving New Zealand, and so uh, there's a couple of hikers right up there. And so the last couple of videos I did was to kind of allow you guys to enjoy the sounds of New Zealand uh, and hiking. So, so I, the hut down there is Angelie's hut, I think. Very, very lovely. The water is quite tasty. I got a fire going, which is, and then I came up here to catch the last little bit of sunlight before it disappeared. Um, yeah, it's quite warm. The temperature drops pretty quickly once the uh, sun goes below the mountain. It'll disappear any second now. Uh, I have now been in the back country of New Zealand in Nelson National Park uh, since last Sunday and today is Saturday. So I've now been here seven days and seven nights. Uh, well, this is the seventh. Yeah. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Or is this? Yeah, this is the seventh night. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.